Hello and welcome back today. We want to take a second look at a sermon from Jonathan Edwards' book, Charity and Its Fruit. Uh, today we're looking at this, the third sermon. Uh, nothing can make up for a want of sincerity of heart. And, and what Edwards has been looking at is the third verse in 1 Corinthians 13. Um, and he's been focusing on the fact that even if you gave all you had to the poor, gave your body to be burned, if you don't have love, it's not uh, worth anything. And so uh, what, what Edwards uh, is saying about this is that the Lord wants us to serve him and... Um, Honor him uh, from a sincere heart, a heart that truly uh, has a great joy in him, has a great uh, love for him. And so love for God is first in God's concern. God wants our love most of all. And uh, one of the things that he talks about then is just this idea of truth and, sense and integrity. Uh, there must be a connection between the outward works that we do, which appear to uh, show that a heart of love explains why this work happens. But, but there must be integrity between the two. The outward works that we do uh, must flow from a heart that really loves God. Otherwise, we appear to love God but uh, by our actions. Our actions show a love for God, but our heart doesn't have a love for God. There's, there's no integrity there. You're, you're pretending to love God when you don't. And so Edwards is saying, look, you, uh, you must have a heart that matches your religious practice. Uh, what he says, though, is if you want to love God, you're going to have to get a love from God, uh, a love for God from God. Uh, and so uh, perhaps we would think of uh, the passage in 1 John that says, uh, love is from God and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Look, if you want to love God, then you must be born of God. And so Edwards is speaking here about new birth. Uh, being born again, being regenerated. Uh, in regeneration, we get a new heart, and our heart is changed uh, from a heart of stone to a heart of flesh. We have a heart that has a love for God in it. And so if you don't have love for God in your heart, then go to God and seek it from God, right? You have to get it from Him. He alone can make you born again. And so you must, if you, um, if you lack a heart of love for God, uh, go to God and find it in salvation, right? He gives it uh, through regeneration. Uh, and again, this brings up really Edward's next point. Uh, if you find yourself having trouble here, uh, don't try to work it up on your own. Don't try to work up love for God on your own. Go to the Lord. Seek it by prayer. Seek it as the, as the most earnest Seek it earnestly from him as the thing of greatest importance, right? Uh, if all the rest of the things you do don't matter, if you don't have this heart of love, then seek first from God this heart of love. God, work in my heart, break my heart, uh, bring repentance to my heart, and then bring joy in you and love for you in my heart. Lord God, do this. And so you're seeking it from God. You're not trying to work it up on your own. You're recognizing he alone can give it, and he is powerful to give it. He can give it. And so... Uh, what Edwards uh, wants to close with, and one idea I want to close with, is that many of us think, well, the secret to living a Christian life is just doing great things for God. And one, uh, one parable you'll want to think of is that widow's mite parable. Remember where somebody comes in and they give lots, I mean, just pouring all kinds of offerings into the, into the uh, plate there. And, and, and uh, then someone else comes by and just gives that little, little tiny bit, just one little, one little coin. And uh, Edward says, look, uh, great things with no sincerity of heart dishonor God, but even tiny things, if it comes from a sincere heart, the Lord delights in this. So don't seek to be the sort of person who makes up for a heart that doesn't love God by doing great things for him. Uh, rather, seek from him a changed heart and then give in small amounts, and, and even by God's help, out of this heart of love for him that he has given you, give great things to him. But, but, but don't focus on the amount of things you do. Focus on your heart, because the Lord knows your heart. He looks at your heart. He cares about your heart. What he mostly wants is your heart. And so go to him and have him change your heart, change you from the inside out.